Hey guys, welcome to lesson 7 of uh, my tutorials and today's uh, lesson will be polygonal primitives. So, pol polygons, polygons you can access the polygons menu by actually going into the drop drop down menu on here and um, click on the polygons as well as uh, modify yeah, uh, sorry, create polygon primitives or polygons, you can find it on there as well. So, and another way you can access the polygons menu is simply by going to the polygons tab and uh, to open all these, um, it will open a, a shelf then you can click on the uh, whatever polygon you need on the, from the shelf so let's um, let's uh, click on um, create subdiv uh, polygon, uh, polygon primitives and just cheat this one off and access the these um, graphical representations of our polygons on here so let's start with the sphere with the sphere you can click on the sphere drag um, click and drag so that makes a sphere for us and we can um, we can actually increase or decrease the subdivisions of the sphere by uh, um, going to the attributes editor so from the attributes editor we can click on on um, polysphere and actually increase the subdivisions which is pretty much um, which is pretty pretty much uh, increasing the um, the resolution of our sphere so we can increase that manipulate it we can also uh, also create UVs this is pretty much um, UVs you you will get to, to use UVs once we go into animations for now we don't need to know in, um, to know it uh, into detail, all we need to know is um, you can access the UVs from here. So we close that one. You can also access. Let me open it again. You can also access the radius, which is pretty much how big the the cube is, the the sphere is. And on top of that, you can also you can access the, all these. From um, from the channel box, so you can go to Polysphere and uh, manipulate the radius. Let's say one five. All that you can actually increase or decrease the radius, subdivisions, height. You can uh, increase the subdivision and height simply by clicking on the whatever it is maybe subdivision axis and middle click and drag you can increase that from there you can increase that by middle clicking and dragging left or right um, so I'm not gonna talk for now let me just uh, show you what else we're capable of doing As you can see, it's got a lot of boxes in in here. That's from um, what I was doing before. So all you have to do in this case is to pretty much going into your um, okay. Let's just uh, rubber band mask that one, delete it, go into the cube attributes editor, cubes are settings. Sorry, it's supposed to be one, one, one. That's a default. Or you can just reset the two, so it goes to default. So cube. That's our cube on here, and we can uh, increase. Uh, we can increase the width, the height, the depth. Sub. You can also increase the subdivisions. And start from the attributes editor. On top of that, you can uh, reband, delete, you can do that, increase, increase, increase those. That way, whatever you draw will have uh, those, um, those settings.
cylinder is another thing that you can use make sure you um, after this tutorial you go around and play with these ones a little bit that way you get to know them and become more um, comfortable with them um, I like the attributes editor better because it's easy to work with so your cylinder can Yeah. Subdivisions. Subdivision caps pretty much increasing the the, um, the rings inside. Delete that one. So cone is another thing. You can also go to the attributes editor, go to the attributes editor and play with it, and you can also set set uh, have some sort of a preset from actually clicking this little box here and set it up to the way you want it to, to the way you want it to work, and it will work like that by default. So delete that one. Another cool thing is the torus. Okay, so this one okay, this is a bit different. We can uh, adjust the um, the radius. The thickness. This can be used to um, create uh, donuts or some sort of a ring and things like that. Click on that. Delete. Prism is another cool thing. It's like a cheese slice, you know, like that. So you can go. You can also go into the attributes editor. and actually adjust it a little bit so let's say the Chrysler building on is like six sided or something so this is the, this is cool this is something that would be hard to actually uh, model from scratch like to model in, uh, using a different way so this makes it a bit you know it makes it easier That's pretty cool. Um, pyramid. And again, with the pyramid, you can change the attributes as well. If you want to remove the cap or whatever, you can change it uh, this way. Delete that one. Pipe is another cool thing to, to draw. So you can um, draw the radius, drag for height, then again the thickness. So it's it's uh, done in three stages. Let's do it again. Pipe. Let's do it again. Drag height or drag radius. Drag height, then the thickness. Helix. Oh, that's a cool one. Let's see. This can be used to make some sort of a spring. Let's do this. This is this is a cool um, this is a cool one. As you can see, this will be. Can you just imagine how how long this would take you uh, to model? This would take forever to model. Like seriously, look at this. This can be used to to model some sort of um, shocks for a monster truck or 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 things like that. Maybe springs. And um, yeah, there's a lot of things that you can use this for. As you can see, this will be hard to build from scratch. So this is pretty cool. Another one. Anyway, go around and um, play with this and uh, see how that works out for you. Then uh, go back to the next tutorial.